What's up YouTubers, it's Psychotic here, and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to build an automatic wheat farm. And on this tutorial, it's just going to be a real simple version of an automatic wheat farm. It's going to be very similar to the automatic mushroom farm that I built. And if you haven't seen that, I really would advise you to go check it out. It's a really good tutorial. And always, please, rate and subscribe. It helps a lot. Alright, first we're going to set out this, and it's going to be seven blocks long. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, is that eight? Can't tell. One, two, three, four, five. No, that's seven. And then you want to do the same thing again. And my mouse just spazzed out. And that one block was actually placed fine because you want one there in the middle. This right here is what's going to spread your water to help it make it automatic. There you go. And one, two. And right now I'm just building a wall around it. There we go. And we need to just go down. It doesn't really matter because you're going to adjust it anyways of how you want your building to look and how long it actually has to be. Let's go down. We also got some free cake over there if you want some. Let's get out our shovel. And we're going to dig out our trenches right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, that was eight. These need to be eight long. Sorry if that counting confused you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and do the same over here. Oopsies. We're just going to fill that in with that. Because they're not really going for the best looks on this. You can do that. Because this is on Tykan's Test World, if I didn't mention that. And I'm using his texture pack. And that will all be in the description below. There we go. And, hmm. I think I'm going to make another layer. Make it a little bit longer. And I'll be right back. Alright, now what you do is where you place these blocks, you want to fill it up with water so you can give your crops moisture because they need that. And you can either put half steps on the side or just whole blocks. I think I'm going to just put whole blocks. Um, you can put half steps because they're easier to walk on, but the blocks don't get items stuck on them like wheat or seeds and you just want to do that to all three of these and you also need to place a block down here too at the end of your little row I'll be back after I've done that okay now that that's done what we can do is we can start making our second little row of let's see this is one two three four five six seven eight And if you watch my mushroom video, you, you'll you know that this design is very similar. And you can always improve it, expand it. I'm actually put levels on top of each other if you want. This is just, I'm not doing a full out farm here because I'm not going to be using it. This is just showing you how you can make one. And I'll be back after I cleared out this. Okay, I'm back, and what I did is just did the same thing as I did up here, down here. And then I kind of made a collection point, and all you do is put a source block there, and the same on the other side. 
and you dig out right here in the middle and it comes out like that I wonder if you can go any farther nope it stops right there and what you do after that is kind of just fill this part in so you have pathways there we go just like that and we can finish this area out we'll just make this a little neater where you can go and collect it easier and now we have pathway so we can farm it but now we're going to make the automatic part about it a little water source that comes out okay so. I'm going to make that now I think this is right. Um, let's see, one, two, yep. Here we go. Yeah, let's see. Should have brought an axe with me. I think that's right. Let's see. We gotta cover this part up though. Let's see, give me a torch. And I just remembered something. You can't, this has to be seven blocks long, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so seven blocks long here because I forgot the water has to drop off. So let me fix that and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did was I shortened this by one and shortened this one by one. And then all you gotta do now is place your water blocks or source blocks. Do the same over here. And it does the same thing. And you can just make this neater by placing blocks around it like this. there we go now that we have the this part done too all we have to do is add redstone wiring that makes it go around so you can press a button knit that up and make a roof and I'll be back after I've done that and show you how it works okay I'm back and let's see what I did I made a little pathway to the collection point just filled this in I added a redstone path you can see goes all the way up to the water and you can always make this neater by hiding it and I'm also not going to make a roof because all you have to do is put glass in it build a wall that takes forever especially when I'm just doing a tutorial on it and not building it for my own and you can always add or change designs that you think would be better for it and you can also build on top of it or below it just depending on what you want and right now I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of, uh, or plant a whole bunch of wheat and show you how it works. So I'll be back after that. I put a torch there so it would stop freezing. And I filled this in with wood, made it look a little bit better. Oh. Let's put a piece of dirt here and plow it. Now it's all ready. All we gotta do is add the seats. And um sorry I'm kinda cutting out a lot, but I only can record 15 minutes, so I'm trying to get it all in. I'm just going to put all these seeds right quick, and I'll be back after that. So, Okay, guys, I'm back, and I planted all the seeds, and I even bone milled them so they can be instantly grown. And as you can see, I have no wheat in here, so we can see how much we get. And all we got to do is flick uh, the lever and watch it work. You can even close it because it doesn't matter. And then look at all that go. <laughs> kind of lagged right there. See how much you'll get. Oh, I uh, fell in. Dang, it's lagging a lot. It's almost all the way in. Oh, I'm dropping lots of frames. Oh, holy crap. 
Let's make it. Oh, last time I did this, it didn't lag this bad. Oh, dang. Oh, ho. Houston, we have a problem. Okay. Some of it did get stuck, but we'll see how much we got. If I don't fall down. Holy crap. And we got a total of almost two stacks. I think that's pretty good. And you can always expand it by making more levels. Just remember, if you want to expand it and go more, this has to be seven. And your last layer will be eight. So that one's seven. This one's eight. And then I got a total of 106 wheat which is pretty good especially since this is just a small automatic wheat farm and you can always make it bigger but this is just a tutorial and after you're done you got some free cake which I can't eat but that's it for this tutorial